Hi, a very good morning to everyone. Today we discuss bonding, hybridization, and geometry of some organic molecules like methane, ethane, ethylene, and acetylene. What is meant by hybridization? The process of mixing of pure orbitals to give a set of new equivalent orbitals is termed hybridization. We peoples well known the atomic number of carbon is 6. Carbon in ground state, its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2px1, 2py1, 2pz0. Carbon in excited state, its electronic configuration 1s2, 2s1, 2px1, 2py1 and 2pz1. C. Bonding in methane. This is the structure of methane. In methane, the central atom is carbon. See carbon in hybridized state, its electronic configuration, carbon uses 1sp3 hybridized orbital, 1s2, 2sp31, 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 2sp31. That is carbon in hybridized state, it has sp3 hybridization. SP3 hybridization means tetrahedral geometry. Okay. This is the structure of methane. In methane, carbon forms single covalent bonds with four hydrogen atoms. Since the carbon atom is attached to four other atoms, it uses sp3 orbitals. sp3 orbitals to form these bonds each carbon hydrogen covalent bond each carbon hydrogen covalent bond is the result of the overlap of an sp3 orbital from carbon and 1s orbital from hydrogen since the four sp3 orbitals are oriented are oriented in such a way that their axes are directed towards the corners of a regular tetrahedron with carbon located at the center. Thus, the bond angles in methane are the same as the angles between the axes of sp3 orbitals that is 109 degree 5 minutes. The co 109 degree 28 minutes. The covalent bond formed by the overlap of sp3 orbitals and s orbitals are sigma bonds. Because the electron density in each bond is symmetrical about the line joining the centers of the two bonded atoms. Thus, all carbon-hydrogen bonds in methane are sigma bonds. Electron diffraction and spectroscopy studies reveals that methane has a tetrahedral structure and all the carbon-hydrogen bonds are identical. They are about the same bond length 1.09 Armstrong unit. The energy required to break any of the four bonds in is the same 102 kilocalories. The angle between any pair of bond, the angle between any pair of bond bonds is 109 degree 28 minutes. Next, bonding in methane. In ethane, this is the geometrical representation of ethane molecule. In ethane, 
देर आर सिक्स सी हेच कोवल एंड बॉन्ड्स सिक्स सी हेच कोवल एंड बॉन्ड्स एंड वन कार्बन कार्बन सिंगल बॉन्ड एज इन द केस ऑफ मीथेन ईच कार्बन हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ द ओवरलैप ऑफ एन एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिड ऑर्बिटॉल एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिड ऑर्बिटॉल फ्रॉम कार्बन एंड वन एस ऑर्बिटॉल फ्रॉम हाइड्रोजन The carbon-carbon bond arises. The carbon-carbon bond arises from the overlap of sp3 orbitals, one from each carbon atoms. All carbon-hydrogen bonds and the carbon-carbon bond are sigma bonds. Electron diffraction and spectroscopy studies have given the following measurements for the molecule of ethane. हाइड्रोजन कार्बन हाइड्रोजन एंड हाइड्रोजन कार्बन कार्बन हाइड्रोजन कार्बन हाइड्रोजन एंड हाइड्रोजन कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड एंगल्स और वन नॉट नाइन डिग्री ट्वेंटी एट मिनट्स बिकॉज इन इथेन आल्सो ईच कार्बन हैज एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिड ऑर्बिटॉल सी एच बॉन्ड लेंथ is 1.9 1.09 amstrong unit similar to methane ch bond length and carbon carbon bond length is 1.54 amstrong unit in ethane each carbon has sp3 hybridization therefore the geometry of each carbon atom is tetrahedral structure bonding in ethylene This is the geometrical representation of ethylene molecule. <coughs> Each carbon atom in ethylene attached to two hydrogen atoms by single covalent bonds and to another carbon atom by a double bond and another carbon atom by a double bond. Since each carbon atom is attached to three other atoms it uses it uses sp2 hybrid orbitals plus an unhybridized unhybridized pz orbital to form its bonds in ethylene there are four carbon hydrogen single covalent bonds and one carbon carbon double bond that means there is one carbon carbon single bond and there is one carbon carbon uh, single bond that is sigma bond and there is one carbon carbon double bond that is pi bond each carbon hydrogen bond is a sigma bond result from the overlap of an sp2 orbital from carbon and 1s orbital from hydrogen one of the two bonds in the double bonds is also a sigma bond already i told you and result from end to end linear overlap to form the sp2 orbitals one from each carbon atom the second bond in the double bond is a pi bond and result from side to side lateral overlap side to side lateral overlap of two unhybridized pz orbitals one from each carbon atom it should be noted that p orbitals can overlap only when all six atoms lie in the same plane that is the plane of the sigma bonds like the p orbitals from which it is formed a pi bond consists of two equal parts one part lie above the plane of the carbon and hydrogens and the other part lie below this plane these two parts together makes up one pi bond electron diffraction and spectroscopy studies have also shown that ethylene is a planar that is flat molecule all bond angles hch hch and hcc are 120 degree 
द कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड लिंक इन एथिलीन इज 1.34 पॉइंट थ्री फोर आई एम स्ट्रॉन्ग यूनिट एज कंपेयर टू द कार्बन कार्बन सिंगल बॉन्ड लेंथ ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव फोर आई एम स्ट्रॉन्ग यूनिट इन एथेन एज वी पीपल्स ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन यमो डायग्राम एज द बॉन्ड ऑर्डर इंक्रीजेस बॉन्ड लेंथ डिक्रीजेस बॉन्ड स्ट्रेंथ इंक्रीजेस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रीजन कार्बन कार्बन सिंगल बॉन्ड इन इन ई टेन हैज वन पॉइंट फाइव फोर आई एम स्ट्रांग यूनिट एंड कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड एंड इन एथिलीन हैज वन पॉइंट थ्री फोर आई एम स्ट्रांग यूनिट दिस शॉर्टनिंग इज टू बी एक्सपेक्टेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एडिशनल ओवरलैप additional orbital overlap associated with the two atoms in ethene or ethylene each carbon has a sp2 hybridization therefore the geometry of each carbon atom is trigonal shape bonding in acetylene the iupac name of acetylene is ethyne e t h y n e each carbon atom this is the geometrical representation of ethyne see each carbon atom in ethylene attach acetylene sorry sorry yeah, acetylene attached to one hydrogen atom by a single covalent bond one hydrogen atom by a single covalent bond and to another carbon atom by a triple bond since each carbon atom attached to other atom it uses sp hybrid orbital it uses sp hybrid orbitals plus two unhybridized 2p orbitals what are they py and pz to form its double bonds double bonds and triple bonds in acetylene there are two ch single covalent bonds and one carbon carbon triple bond each carbon hydrogen bond is a sigma bond and result from overlap of an sp orbital from carbon and one s orbital from hydrogen one of the three bonds in the carbon carbon triple bond is also a sigma bond and result from end to end linear overlap of the two sp orbitals one from each carbon the other two bonds in the triple bond are pi bonds and results from side to side side to side lateral overlap of unhybridized py and pz orbitals on each carbon although the carbon carbon triple bond is represented by three equivalent lines remember that one line represents a sigma bonds and the other two the pi bonds electron diffraction studies have shown that acetylene is a linear molecule the hydrogen carbon carbon bond angle is 180 degree the carbon bond length in acetylene is 1.09 armstrong unit similar to ethylene ethene and methane but the carbon carbon bond length is 1.20 armstrong unit it is less compared to ethylene because we have one extra bond in acetylene as the bond order increases bond length decreases bond strength increases in eth in ethene each carbon has sp hybridized each carbon has sp hybridization therefore the geometry of each carbon atom is linear shape thank you